this is all about not crossing preteen girls. A middle school principal learned that lesson the hard way when he reportedly denied requests for free tampons in school bathrooms saying, hey, students would abuse the privilege. So girls responded by baking him some tampon cookies. These are actual baked goods, not tampons. Those are cookies and they worked. The principal and school board are said to be making the change to now offer free yep. tampons in the bathrooms. Yeah, yeah, I love it. And they didn't even, they weren't trying to go viral here. They posted this picture, blew up, everyone loved it. And what's really cool is these preteen girls, three in particular, they, they put out a statement calling themselves the Revolutionary Girls Baking Society. And they even said in their statement, we are very grateful that the school has taken our action seriously and is making a change. Feminine hygiene is not a luxury or a privilege and not having tampons and pads is a barrier to every girl's education. They're so mature and on top of things. I love that. I mean, and I agree 100%. You know, there are 25 million females under the poverty line here. And unfortunately, tampons cannot be purchased using food stamps. And if you think about it, if you have a family and they're having a hard time putting food on the table and they can't afford tampons, the last thing you want to be is a little girl who remember when you bled through your clothes, if you bled through your clothes as a little girl, how devastating that was. The last thing you want to do is be a little girl in that situation. When you go to school, you deserve to focus on learning. And if they, we can do this one small small thing for them, I think that is phenomenal. So I'm really, I'm, I'm so proud of these young ladies and I'm glad that the school listened. Yeah. Well, and, and I, I think this is also one of those things where assuming this middle school principal is a male, he probably had never even thought through this scenario because realistically that is not, you know, you use the word empathy. A, a man cannot empathize with a preteen girl who is dealing with her, her menstrual cycle. So I'm assuming this is a lesson learned. And he probably for this was uncomfortable even dealing with it. Probably, yes, yes. probably yeah. so. And you know, and just taking that a step further, you know, there are taxes on tampons and feminine products. And I think that's ridiculous because we have some men who are able to get Viagra. And I know we were talking about it, but it's, it's expensive, but there's not a tax on it. <laughs> Well, because we were talking about it. Yes. But it's, it's expensive, but there are no tax. So, I mean, it's, it's not... What do you mean? A there's regular sales tax on tampons. Yes. Yes. Yes, there's tax because 35 states tax products as a non-essential good. Oh. They said it's a non-essential good. And I mean, that's not true. We need it. What do you want us to do? <laughs> like, what do you want us to use? So I, we're just asking to take the ta tax away. We're not even asking you to help us out with the, the, the over-the-counter medicine we need every month, or the money for the heating pads, or the missed work that we have, or the panties that we ruin. I mean, a lot of money goes into this. Can you tell people to take the taxes off? <laughs> Do you know somebody who knows somebody? No, I don't, Dr. but I agree Orton. with you. I'll talk to my congressperson. Yeah. No, I, I think you make a valid point. Take the taxes off. 